About two months ago, Eric and I received our Starlink internet. Here's the dish behind me. We did a YouTube video showing how to set it up and our initial speed. We got a lot of response to that video, had a lot of questions. We've also learned a lot from when we first set it up till now. So we're gonna do an update video, tell you some things that you should know about Starlink. We're gonna cover some of those questions that we've gotten. And we're also gonna show you how we're now sending the internet from right here on top of my house down to the chicken houses, which are behind the trees right there. You can't really see it. Oh, here comes Eric walking up. What are you doing? I'm on top of the roof. What are you doing? Working on a tractor and I look up and you're just hanging out on the roof over here. Do you need some help? Huh? Can you come help me? Sure, I'll be right down. Thank you. I'm gonna toss y'all down to Eric and he's gonna show y'all where the farm is. You're gonna do, oh, whoa! Y'all, <laughs> y'all saw those hands. Okay, caught me a little off guard. So I'm supposed to do what, show them the farm? We're sending the Wi-Fi from here to there. Let me tell you guys what I've learned. Probably zoomed in real close, but when you go from three megs to 180, <laughs> my cord's still hanging off the side of the house. Wife doesn't even care. I mean, she's on cloud nine, so forget about that. Uh, so far, we've had service since March. It's June. So three months, roughly, approximately. Zero complaints, only praises. Um, had a lot of people call and question what we think about it, and I couldn't say more good things about it. We went from $99 a month to 110, so it went up $10 a month. I think the equipment now is, it was $500 when we signed on if you are already signed up for the equipment, it's 550, and then if it's a new sign up, it's at $600. I believe it's what the email said. So, is it worth it? Of course. Would I do it again? Yes. Uh, can't praise it enough. And thanks, Elon. I'll take you out to dinner sometime. Yeah, well. So before Starlink, we had CenturyLink, and it's running into the middle of the chicken houses down there. We use that, Eric and I have Rotom controllers set up. We can actually log in with our cell phone and check those controllers, make changes to the chicken houses through that controller. We're wanting to get it set up with some cameras and some other stuff, so we're needing better internet. So what we're using now is just a ubiquity point-to-point -point setup. I'll show you, there's one installed on my house. We had to get the ethernet uh, port for this. One of them plugs into the ethernet port that's on the back of the modem. The other one is down there. There's a control building so we'll show you the one down there they both look the same but basically it's a point-to-point -point wireless setup here's the other end of our point-to-point -point system this is on the front of my building it's pretty much just aimed back towards my house this is my little control room office bedroom during the catch out all that kind of stuff but we have a laptop in there and we monitor the farm with it you can't really see it from here but my house is in that general direction. So if you climb right up there on top of the roof, you can see a straight line back to the house. That's how the point to point works. So it just kind of worked out with the elevation that they can actually communicate with each other. But we've had that set up for probably a month now. And so far we haven't had any issues with it. So this right here is the modem that comes with it. On the front, it kind of looks like there should be lights when it's plugged up, but that actually does not light up. The only light that is on it is right there on the bottom. You can see there's only two connectors on here. One's a power supply. One is would be coming in from the satellite. But we did order that Ethernet. I'll show you. So this is our Ethernet connector. So this cord from my pinky is actually coming from my satellite now. There's our Ethernet that's hooked up for our point-to-point. -point, and then this right here plugs into the bottom of the modem. I'm going to do another speed test while we're in the house. This right here is through our Starlink app. It tells you when you're online. It helps with your visibility. And let's do a speed test. We're running 124 megabits right now. 
but that's not the fastest I've seen, but also not the slowest. So it's pretty good. We were running three with our old internet, so even running 124, we're doing pretty good. Would you do it again? Oh, absolutely. Give me a score zero to 10. For us, a 10. And we do get comments from time to time. People are saying there's variations in the speed. Yeah, there definitely are. The Starlink internet is set up for people like us that don't have other options. If you have fiber internet, it may not be the best option for you. But out here, when you go from three megs to, even if it's at 50 megs on a slow day or 200 on a fast day, it's still a whole lot better than what we had. So you give it a two thumbs up. Oh, absolutely. So since we've gotten our Starlink, we got rid of our direct TV dish. We're actually streaming everything now, which is something we weren't ever able to do. And you certainly couldn't stream anything and then use another device. So now we've got several devices set up. My wife works from home some, so she's able to actually connect and actually get work done. So all around, it's just been an improvement for our family. So our direct TV was running over $100 a month. The CenturyLink at the house was 50. CenturyLink at the farm was 50. So there's $200. So we went $200 down to 110 a month. Plus a little bit for our streaming. I'll take those odds. He was so happy about the Starlink purchase. He went and bought a puppy. Actually not one, but two puppies and a grown dog. And a Mac. I think we can check cows with a camera. Yeah, definitely. One thing that you guys also could think about if you're chicken growers and that we've kicked around the idea, it's kind of up in the air is you could install a camera in the chicken house to watch bird activity. We haven't decided if we're going to do that, but you know, the best way to take care of your chickens is to be with them, to see your chickens, see what they need because a bird activity will tell you a lot about if they're happy or not. So. That is something we could do with this system. We could put the camera in and then you could log in on your phone and and watch each house and kind of see, you know, what the activity looks like. I can see the pluses, I can see the minuses. Trust me, I know what you guys are thinking, but um, it's a possibility. So it's something that you make it look into to the future that we haven't had that chance so far. So one thing to make note of is when I ha the previous internet service I had with CenturyLink, I had to have Wi-Fi extenders throughout my house over here. I had to have extenders throughout the house to pick up the signal in different parts of the house, the part over the garage. I couldn't do that without extenders. I don't have those extenders with Starlink, I was gonna try it without it, and so far I haven't had an issue. So it obviously does have better coverage to tell you exactly how much, I don't know, but I can tell you I don't have extenders anymore. So that's a plus because it seemed like every time I went up there to hook on something, if the power had blinked and I lost an extender service, I had to redo that. So that's one less headache for sure. We covered this in our first video a little bit. This is the mount that comes with it. You can buy a separate roof mount, but we didn't want to wait on that. We went ahead and just mounted it as is. We put some leg sail and some tar around it and, every, and everything seems to be fine. One thing to know though, the satellite does not come in this position. It will automatically set itself. So when you plug it up and get everything powered up, it's gonna move on its own. Don't try to move the satellite at all reposition or anything it will position itself to where it needs to to pick up the best signal for you well that pretty much covers what we wanted to cover if you have any questions be sure and leave a comment don't forget click that subscribe button give us a thumbs up if you liked our video that helps us keep uh, being able to make more content for you hey now that you're off the house can you come help yeah what you need some help with the tractor all right, we're going to work on the tractor. We'll see y'all next time.